today's the day that I stopped bluffing about using my bread machine. But I'm not going to make bread. I'm actually going to make cake. The bread machine that I have makes yogurt, fermented foods, cake, and bread. And I was supposed to make a cake for my birthday, which was on November 13th. So that shows you how long I've been bluffing about using this machine. Just for the simple fact that I... Okay, so I'm using vegan recipes and I'm just like nervous that I'm going to mess up. But like going into 2024, we're doing challenging things fearlessly. So we're going to do it fearlessly. But first, I need to organize my dry goods. I live in an apartment and I don't have a lot of storage. And also the apartment that I moved into had a lot of roaches when I first moved in. So I'm super extra protective of my foods. Like I still don't use the cabinets. So for my dry goods stock, instead of putting my stuff in the cabinet, I put them in clear bins and we're gonna organize that so I get everything I need for my cake. Look at all this flour. This all purpose flour is Judas flour. Anything that is bleached, the white flour, the white sugar is all Judas stuff. But there was a mouse in his closet when we moved in here. And even though my cat caught it, I still don't trust his closet because he has uh, like two rooms. He has a room inside of his room. And I don't want him to keep too many things in there that's food related. He does have his own mini fridge. And that has saved our relationship is him being able to put his stuff in his area and stay up out of mine. Okay, so down here is where I keep any canned food. I'd love to say I'm the type of person that doesn't use canned food. And I didn't for a long time until... We lost our food stamps and I had to go back to basics. But I do do the canned tomatoes and because especially around winter time because it's more cost effective in getting fresh tomatoes that usually end up going bad. And then I do my coconut milk for sure. So all that stuff goes down here, but this can be repurposed. Like I said, I don't use my cabinet. So all of our tops to all of our pots and pans go right here. I'm gonna get another one of these so that I can put even more of our stores there. Um, this is where I keep that. Like, I don't want anything crawling all over it. Even though we don't have roaches the way that we had them before. I see one or two at night, but it was nothing like when we first moved in here. I keep my garlic, onions, and ginger in a bag. Definitely don't put them in the fridge. You put onions next to anything, it's gonna make them go bad. Um, so, yeah, glasses and stuff. I'm not the type of person that has a whole bunch of glasses and dishware and stuff like that because that just means they're going to get broken or lost. So, every person has a fancy bowl and a snack bowl. They have, and we use mason jars for cups and stuff like that. And then we have our own coffee cups. And then up here, I think, is where I'm going to put Judas flour. Now I at least have a plan. So, let me see what we're working with. And this is a good way for me to count what I have so I know what to order when I do my next bulk order. I used to do Sam's Club and stuff, but they don't have enough vegan stuff for me. So, I do all of my bulk ordering on Amazon, which Amazon has fallen off lately. I'm not even going to lie about that. So, I got this organic oat flour as a substitute for a thickener in the bread. I believe I was going to use this as like a substitute for the egg. This is my cocoa powder. Judy uses a lot of brown sugar. I'm going to, even though this is unopened, I know that he's going to come through and open it and then try to fold it over and just sit it somewhere like he did with his flour. So I'm going to go ahead and put these and his unopened flour in one of these big storage bags to prevent him from dropping stuff all through the house and making a mess like I already know he's gonna do. So it's no point in setting him up for failure. I'm gonna go ahead and help him out and myself out. This is how I say stay less stressed out dealing with these teenagers and them not putting away stuff the way I would put it away. And see, this right here is another issue too on why I like the clear bags. Because when my kids can't see what it is, well, it's not just the kids. When you can't see what you have, you don't know what you have and then you end up letting things go to waste and spending too much money because you keep buying the same items over and over again. He swear he's going to use these hazelnuts. I got these from a food bank and they don't taste very good. I know that I prefer some nuts cooked like my walnuts. I like to put them in the oven or put them in a pan on the stove with a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt. Ugh, it's delicious. I think that's what we need to do with these hazelnuts. But fire, of course, he doesn't want me to throw them away. So I'll finish one because see he has so much flour, all this flour. I'm gonna package this up. My kids went through this phase where they were obsessed with sushi. 
Oh my gosh, and salmon. I was making salmon every single day. I could make the heck out of some salmon. But then I read an article about Aldi and how they had their salmon in these fish farms that weren't very clean. They were like pooping in the same tanks that they were kept in. And it was like contaminating the meat. And so I really, and then I didn't want to really have to only have a Sam's Club membership to get their sashimi grade salmon, which those things were like $45 a piece. And I just, I've stopped eating seafood since because I just can't seem to get any ethically sourced, non-toxic seafood. So we have this rice paper. I don't even know if it went bad. If it didn't go bad, we're going to keep it and use it. Let me see if I can find, oh yeah, 524. Oh yeah, best by date, 526.24. So we're going to find, maybe we can do some vegetable wraps rice paper. Okay, we're going to figure out what we can do with this. All right, red flour, sugar, sugar. And I just discovered this Iberia Pure Cane Turbinado Sugar. It is delicious. It tastes like vanilla. And it gives you, whatever you put it in, a creamy texture. This is delicious, especially for coffee. And it's got big grains. I got them three for $11 on Amazon. They, they sell it at the bodega, but it's more expensive. I got my flaxseed, even though I'd rather keep this in a mason jar. I use flaxseed as a substitute for eggs and baking. Yeah, I'm done now. Just want to wipe my little area up right here. Got my little Dawn and my little bleach. That's all I need now. Yeah, I got rid of, I have to stop using pine salt. Like, I don't need all them fragrances making my allergies go crazy. I never took that allergy and asthma stuff seriously until I got older. But it is serious. Like, even my incense will close me up. I got to crack a window. Like, mm-hmm. That stuff is no joke. All right, let me show you my dry goods now. All the flowers and the sugars are in here. Everything is wrapped in a storage bag. So we should be able to cut down on a mess. I've got my lentils, which I need to find some lentil recipes. If you have any links on, like I know there's curry lentils, maybe vegan meatballs with lentils. I don't know, but I got a bunch from the food bank, so we're gonna use those. And then, what else is in here? I've got noodles, and I've got my big bag of rice in here. I've got my loose tea in here. This is robust. I like to mix that with the burdock root because I do not particularly care for burdock root, but it's really good for nutrients. That is done. We did a good job. But I did find out that somebody has used all of my white wheat flour that I need to make my cake so i'm about to go put in a martin's order on instacart so i will see you in the next episode of fury world i love you